Euclidean and non-Euclidean geometry. To understand the theories of the universe and space-time curvature in a better way, we must have an idea about the different types of geometry and about their uses. Euclidean geometry is a mathematical system named after Greek mathematician Euclid. It is described in his textbook of geometry, The Elements. This is the plane geometry, still taught in secondary school. Euclidean geometry is mainly a systematic and logical representation of earlier knowledge of geometry. We all know, according to this geometry, if a straight line and a point not on that line given then there is only one line you can draw that passes through that point and is parallel to the first line. It is Euclid's parallel postulate. So, you can see this geometry is flat and its curvature is a zero. But the main problem is this geometry defines the situations of the plane only. When we are dealing with different surfaces, we are faced many drawbacks of solving problems through the same geometry. This geometry is also called parabolic geometry. If you try to apply the same geometry on the surface of a football then you will face problems. But, we always need those theorems which can be applied to every situation. We saw that our universe is not so flat, space and time can be curved. So, now we need some better geometry to explain the laws of the universe. Carl Friedrich Gauss and Ferdinand Karl Schweikart had the ideas of non-Euclidean geometry at the beginning of the 19th century. But, they did not publish their thought. Then, in 1830, Janosch Boyai and Nikolai Ivanovich Lobachevsky separately published treatises on hyperbolic geometry. It is also called Boyai Lobachevsky geometry. In this geometry, the surface is negatively curved. This leads to a variation of Euclid's parallel postulate. According to this, for a given straight line and a point not on the line there exist an infinite number of straight lines through the point parallel to the original line. Then in 1854, Bernhard Riemann founded a special type of geometry, called Riemannian geometry. It discusses the ideas of manifolds, Riemannian metric, and Riemannian curvature. It is also called spherical or elliptical geometry. Here the surface is positively curved. In this geometry, Euclid's parallel postulate has a form like this. For a given straight line and the point not on the line, there are no straight lines through the point parallel to the original line. We know that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees in Euclidean geometry. We all study it from school. But, it is very interesting that for hyperbolic geometry, the sum of the angles of a triangle is less than 180 degrees and for Riemannian or elliptical geometry the sum of angles is always greater than 180 degrees. On a sphere, the sum of the angles of a triangle is not equal to 180 degrees. The surface of a sphere is not a Euclidean space, but locally the laws of the Euclidean geometry are good approximations. In a small triangle on the face of the earth, the sum of the angles is very nearly 180 degree. If you like this short video then please subscribe to this channel for more interesting content. You can also share this video to your physics lover friends. Thank you.